guys it's been a while since i posted a video not a big deal though but uh the issue still is going on with the uh cameo so it's a lot of issues you know just the trust rod it still would be buzzing refretted it leveled it everything is good a couple days later same issues again. Uh, then loosening it and adjusting the truss rod just wasn't working. To find out that it would just spin. I didn't over tighten it because I know not to do that. But being that it's an old guitar, who knows? But the problem is a lot. Uh, so, being at the truss rod started spinning, you can't adjust the neck, and, you know, I could play with the height on the strings and stuff like that, but then the action was a little too high, which I didn't care for. So, uh, <clears throat> tried finding a neck for it, for that particular model, that style, can't find one. You know, I got the length, you know, I could find a Gibson replacement, but it has the fret overhang, which does not work, and you can't trim the fretboard on it. So, that makes it useless to me, and to spend money on a neck that's not going to work is kind of stupid, but, you know, it wouldn't be the first time I spent money on something that didn't work, but, you know, you could always use the parts other projects so the issue okay was when i took the neck off just to look at it i know you, you should be heating up the fretboard with an iron or some sort of heat to loosen up the glue which i was going to attempt because i have other guitars to play with and it wouldn't have been the issue but i do like playing this guitar so as i was Fiddling around, I wound up taking a razor and just cutting the seam across the binding. Then I noticed the razor was going in pretty far, which it shouldn't because of the glue. Then it should be on there tight. But then as I was going along with the razor, it was going in deeper and deeper and deeper until. I realized that, wow, maybe the glue wasn't, was uh, making the fretboard, you know, come loose from the neck. So when I was adjusting it, I was actually lifting the fretboard, and even though the neck seemed to be bowed inward, outward, whatever I was adjusting to get my uh, for it to play right, it wasn't doing it. So, weird things are. And when you go into videos, you see guys with the ironing board and the, the scraper and they're hammering away, lifting up the fretboard, the fretboard's breaking and whatnot. So, weird. I had my Pet Boys card and I wind up able to slide it in. And w oddly enough, I just kept sliding it and sliding it and sliding it and sliding it with Holly, no hassle, and it came right off with this. That being said, that's an issue, because it wasn't glued, or the glue was coming off. So, and I'm going to assume that when, the, when you use the truss rod and you bend the neck, that this might have been buckling up, and it was self-explanatory that's not supposed to happen so the neck was the fretboard was able to come off i sanded it i cleaned it it's nice and flush and while i had it off i might as well say you know what let me refret it again while it's flat so i have a little high frets nothing major which is bizarre but it does look a hundred percent better it 
with the fret pull it off, but that's not an easy task on some obviously on majority of the guitars because they shouldn't come off this easy. So and I just give it a nice sand on the front. I mean it's not perfect, but you know, really don't feel like buying a new fretboard for this guitar. When I'm sanding this down nice and smooth, the glow, I didn't go crazy, so I didn't change the uh, dimension of it whatsoever. Now, there's <clears throat> problem number, well, numerous problems. So the truss rod, that's this bad boy right here, was spinning at the end. And the encasing that the rod is in was just old and it just wasn't taking. So, so I wound up taking just a little bit off this part. So I have a nice fresh cut. I don't know whether it's going to make a difference or not, but I hope it doesn't. But I did order trust rods off of Amazon and the way things are going it's probably not going to fit it's probably going to be too long because I could not find a truss rod whoop the actual length for this particular neck which is a real headache so I wind up trimming the threads on top and Lo and behold, I needed a truss rod nut on top of that because it was a little bit worn out on top. That's the way it was when I received it. Like I said, it was free, so I didn't pay for it. But I guess I'm paying for it now. Uh, trying to get a nut for this particular thread size. Can't find it at all on all the sites do mac all parts whatever and i can't seem to get that truss rod nut so i went up ordering a truss rod nut that i thought was going to fit because i went to home depot and lowe's and i tried getting a nut or something where i could spin up put on this thread size but once again I cannot find a nut for this size. I even checked the thread holes for that little testing thing. You screw them in. Standard, the metric, and all these other different sizes. And it would would not take. None of the thread slots to test it would work. I checked about 50, 60 different size bolts. Just to try to spin onto this. Where it would spin nice nothing it was tight it was too big it was too small the one that i thought was going to fit was too tight and i didn't want to cross thread this so i can't find a truss rod this long can't even get a truss rod nut to fit this uh and i can't even find a neck for this guitar unless i buy a brand new guitar for that cameo but getting a neck is almost impossible so when i ordered a truss rod nut from this other company it was too small so what i'm trying to do for backup until i get the new truss rods in the mail today is that i took the new truss rod nut and i inserted it into the old truss rod nut and use some uh, epoxy and or JB Weld. For some reason, I rough sanded it like you're supposed to take off all the grease and oil and film. But it's for some reason it's still not holding. But and on top of it, I can't find an Allen key. I mean, I could use this guy here, but you could only get in so much that it's 
going to be a real pain in the ass to adjust. But if it does adjust, then I'm just leaving it and I'm not touching it ever again. But, you know, this was the, uh, let me just see. I don't know if it will make a difference, but you can see that little gouge right there. That was how much I took off of this because this was pretty pumped up on the bottom. And it just wasn't grabbing anymore. So I put a little uh, epoxy on the bottom to keep it ever spinning. And it's the nut on top. I put a little epoxy on that nut just for proportions. Because once it's in, and that's, that's it. But I can't get anything to fit that. So that sucks. So. And I will try it. And hopefully, you know, once it's in. And I'll glue this on. But I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I mean, it's going to. Oh, I got to shove it in more. And I guess uh, glue it in so it doesn't move, but then it should it should fit. It should be good. I hope if not. Then I just don't use it. But all the other <clears throat> it's twenty two fret <clears throat> and the Gibson replacements and the Epiphone because all you can find is Fender and Telecaster necks. And bullet necks, that's all you can find for replacements. You can't find these. And when you do find them, like I said, it's got that as a good instead of being like this, how it should be. It's got that overhang on that fret, which I can't use on this guitar. So I went to a couple of sites and it's not uh not happening. So one company said just to keep checking because they don't carry that particular size. I gave them the measurements, so <sighs> that's so much for a, a Japanese replica from the late sixties and seventies guitar. Because if you have one of these guitars. Try finding some a neck now where you do have it. But I do like this the style of that on it. But I'm gonna have to either come across another one. One that's pretty beat up guitar wise, where I could actually use the neck on it. But uh as of now, we'll see what happens when I get the truss right in. I really don't want to keep them if I'm not going to use it unless I decide to make my own guitar neck, which is possible. You know, then I always have the truss rods. Or if I do work for somebody, which will probably never happen, but if I do and he needed a truss rod, hopefully the truss rod I have, or I'll just put it on Craigslist and sell it or send it back to Amazon. But other than that, this is ready to go. This I'm just waiting for to get. And that's pretty much it. But considering I can't get a Allen key to fit that, I had to use a star, which fits snug into it. So it is turnable. So that's a... A plus, but once I uh, get it in, hopefully get it adjusted, I'll never have to do it again because then a the truss rod should be doing what it's supposed to do. And that will be it. So, I need to. <clears throat> so, that is my dilemma with this guitar. All the work, trying to get it done. Uh, refretting it and everything else but I don't know 
unless the truss rod is longer than this channel that I get. I don't really don't know. I do. I know they make guitars with two-way adjustments on it, where you can adjust it from there and up on top. But I don't know if I should. Uh, nah. <clears throat> well, obviously, you can't go a channel straight through because in the neck. You would lose the stability of the neck and it would crack. So I don't want that. But I'm wondering if I could. I mean, if anybody's out there can tell me not to do it. Because I do stupid stuff like this all the time and then kick myself in the ass later. I'm wondering if I could drill a hole. Obviously, through here. And try to come out right there. Depending on the length of the truss rod I get. And insert it. And then I'd be able to adjust it from the, the head stock. And if I needed to adjust it at the tail. The, the heel. I'm sorry. The heel. So we'll drill. And then... Hopefully, get it perfect where the hole would go straight through it. Then I'd be able to take my truss rod and the new one and slide it in if it's too long. I'm going to assume, well, I already know. It's probably going to be from here to here. So I might have to do that. Or, I don't know if I could... Uh, Cut the truss rod and alter it to fit this. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Or oh, my next thing would be to take this out, get a threaded rod, which, and run a whole new threaded rod through here, and then get some sort of a nut fit on top of that and then that would go this would be being fixed so I don't know so that's my dilemma I mean I'm gonna use obviously pipe bond for that but I don't know maybe I'll use I don't know super glue for the fretboard and then play with it and see how that works and if it does work we do the whole thing again take it off put the tight bond on it and uh do it like that so and then on this guitar that i made you know yeah but now i just do some uh white pinstriping on it doesn't look good i know that but some white pinstriping I had to get, and being at the nut on this particular fretboard, I had to get a new nut anyway for this uh, neck, because uh, the string kept popping out. And then when I put the new nut on it, same thing. So I wound up getting uh, trees for it. I don't know if I put them on right, but. So, it's not too bad.
taken out of the shower. So my fingers are soft. So that's the story on this. <clears throat> so plays pretty good. The neck issue I did fix. So that's fine. So it looks good. It sounds all right. I mean, I should have better pickups in it, but whatever. What the heck? So that's that. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And I'll talk to you later when I get the new trust rides in or figure out what I'm doing. Later.